Welcome to this introductory video on the Coral System. I'm Bernard Dory, working at the Communication Research Center in Canada, and I'm going to talk about the Coral platform. Coral stands for Cognitive Radio Learning Network. It's a platform targeted for researchers, students, and companies to experiment with cognitive radio networking. It's made of software and hardware, and in this video, I'll describe these components and the general overview of the operation of this platform. The Coral system is a first-of-its-kind platform for experimenting with cognitive radio networking concepts. It's an open platform that allows researchers and students to experiment with many of the aspects related to cognitive radio networking. It is composed of standard 802.11G networking capabilities plus some additional proprietary technologies to enable some of the aspects of cognitive radio networking. It is easy to deploy and a low-cost platform that can be used in many different network configurations, including mesh networks, relay networks, etc. The Coral technology can be applied to different networks, including rural networks. It is currently being tested in India to link remote villages at a very low cost. For municipal networks, sensor networks, and enterprise networks, to only name a few applications. The Coral platform has some unique capabilities. One is the ability in the hardware for environmental sensing. That includes Wi-Fi interference collection and also a spectrum analyzer card in each node to collect the energy distribution at different frequencies. It also, in the hardware, includes capabilities for interference mitigation both in the time domain and the spatial domain. In the time domain, by having the nodes operate in a synchronized fashion to minimize interference amongst themselves, and in the spatial domain, by using the unique packet-per-packet packet steering capabilities of the hardware to use the directional antennas. The system also has a centralized network management system that will collect all the environmental information into a database, the RIM or Radio Environment Awareness Map, which will be, this information will be presented to the cognitive engine so it can be used to optimize the operation of the cognitive radio network. The major components of the Coral system are the hardware, which can be configured either as an access point or as a client, and the software, which is the network management system, the database, and the cognitive engine. I will later explain in more details the operation of the software for this system. The Coral system provides a high-level application programming interface for people to develop cognitive engine to optimize the operation of a wireless network. Some of the high-level APIs provided by the Coral system include hooks to control the temporal reuse, the synchronized operation of the access points, the spatial reuse, the beam switching capabilities of the hardware platform, to control the channel on the different access points. It also provides an API for the cognitive engine to retrieve information stored in the relational database previously mentioned to find out the operation of the network and to, based on that information, 
decide on the optimal parameters for the operation of the wireless network. For example, a cognitive engine could be written for a hotel environment where multiple access points are deployed throughout the hotel. By using the coral capabilities, a centralized cognitive engine could sense the interference seen by the different access points and then tweak the parameters of the network to maximize the bandwidth utilization. One of the key focus in designing the Coral platform was to build a platform that was useful for researchers to explore different concepts for cognitive radio networking. This includes development of new cognitive engines, testing new algorithms for intelligent antenna steering, developing bandwidth management algorithms, and studying different interference mitigation schemes. The platform can also be licensed by private companies to develop new products in this area. Let me now quickly go over the operation of the network management station and the cognitive engine in a very simplistic network made off of one access point and three clients. Periodically, the network management station will pull the different nodes in the cognitive radio network and retrieve their interference information and store it in the REAM database, the Radio Environment Awareness Map. Once the interference information has been stored in the relational database, the network management station will inform the cognitive engine that new data is available about the network. The cognitive engine can then recompute the different parameters for the operation of the wireless network and then use the API provided by the network management station to tweak the different controls in the network to optimize bandwidth and minimize interference. The network management station also provides a graphical user interface so a network operator can look at the different aspects of the network and manually control the operation of this network. Here's a screenshot of what the GUI looks like. So in summary, the Coral platform is designed for research and development. It combines unique cognitive radio and Wi-Fi technologies. It has the hooks for bandwidth optimization and interference mitigation. It has the hooks to build a centralized control system that will optimize the operation of the network and it's available right now. For more information about the Coral system, upcoming videos and demos, and information about ordering your own system, please contact us with the information shown on the screen. Thank you very much for your attention.